Aponga J, reporting live for you here on your favorite channel at my alma mater, right here in Solusi University. That's where I started. These grounds know me very well. I came to this campus 1990, 1983, 1983, and I left 1991, studying right here. We used to have beautiful gardens here. We used to have cattle. We used to have orchards. And during the times of recession and the times of drought, and COVID came and finished everything else. We're happy for this afternoon to be announcing one of the local businessmen in the country who has come back to the campus to give the campus what I might call a booster, a booster. We've got four of these uh, tractors with all their implements from planters. We have, uh, you know, the ridge reapers and uh, the, the trucks themselves. They're right here. We also have uh, cars, two, four, six, eight. I don't know how many cars are right here for all the staff members that has all been submitted. And over and above that, we are also happy to announce the supply of the, of the transport uh, for the students that are going to be studying here. I hear there's good news also. Students used to pay, they used to pay about $2.50 a meal. A special canteen, an eating canteen has been designed right here on the campus where the businessman is now going to settle much of the debts of the students, but over and above that, Three meals a day for all the students, instead of paying $2.50, they're not going to be paying only 50 cents per meal, yeah. right here in Solusi. It's important for you to think and think very carefully, that business people are important, because business runs politics. And until you understand the power of money, you won't understand what I'm talking about. Poor people work for nothing. Even God does not use poor people in the entire Bible, except for illustrations. Except for illustrations. But when God wants to change the environment, he looks for those that have means. Look at the Abrahams. Look at the, at the Josephs. Look at the Davids. Look at the Solomons. People who have means and access to means. They must stop wasting time with too much religion of going to heaven. We don't want to go to heaven yet. We want to work on earth first. And these are the implements which will make us work. We do not wish for a house of gold in heaven when you have never touched gold right here on earth. We want to encourage other businessmen out there, male and female, in diaspora, wide and far. Remember where you come from and make some investments back home. Let us rebuild our schools and build our communities, especially if we have an education that is relevant to the issues that are at hand. The planting season is here. The planting implements are right here. Within the next few months, we're going to be seeing Solusi University receiving more than eight million US dollars worth of investment and injection into this project. That's going to turn the entire bush of Solusi University into a prime industry with education that is integrated to skills development. I wish I could come back here and study a little bit more. Zazo Shubala, Zazo Bamnandi Ndao, right here in Solusi University. Yours truly, Maponga J. Keep your money where your mouth is and invest in that which you believe in. We appreciate it. A big thank you to my brother, one and only Kudakwashe. Secunda Holdings, I thank you. True.